Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have a really big box full of Jurassic World figures to take a look at today. So I recently was browsing online, of course, you know, scrolling through Mercari, eBay, all of the different places that I search for dinosaur figures, and I came across a really, you know, cool lot of Jurassic World stuff. There's a little bit of stuff that's not just Jurassic World, like there's other dinosaur stuff in here as well, but, uh, a ton of recently released Jurassic World Dominion stuff, and the price was pretty cheap, honestly, so, like, I saw no reason not to grab it, because I'm always looking for stuff to repaint, and things that I might just want doubles of, and stuff like that, so, and there was actually a few things in this that I didn't have already, so I was very interested in picking the set up, pulled the trigger on it, so we have it here to take a look at, and I figured what better way to unbox it than with you guys, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So straight away, the very first thing that I pull out of the box is a very interesting Battle of the Dinosaurs book. And uh, it looks pretty cool. We've got kind of like a uh, T-Rex here on the front, kind of moving along. We've also got like some 3D glasses up there. I don't really know too much about the book. It wasn't something that I was incredibly interested in grabbing. It was just something that was in here, but it does actually look pretty neat. Definitely looks, if I could bring the camera up a little bit higher so you guys can see it, it looks like it would be something that was pretty cool to, uh, you know, throw some 3D glasses on and take a look at, but uh, definitely pretty neat, but nothing amazing, but it was included in here. So of course I want to show you guys everything that's included. Definitely something that I didn't have, so that's kind of fun. And there's also another book in here called Dinosaur Battle, which my son does have, but it's not a book that I ever had. Again, another interesting book, and I do like books like this. I find these quite often at Ollie's and stuff, similar books, and I like to get them because they sometimes can provide some pretty cool inspiration for paint jobs on dinosaurs. And sometimes if I'm like drawing a blank and I'm coming up with nothing as far as the coloration that I would like to use on a dinosaur, I'll often tend to, uh, you know, turn to some books and stuff and try to find some inspiration from there. And you can see there's all kinds of really cool images of dinosaurs in here, beautiful paint schemes and everything like that. Right there, straight away, that Rex looks awesome, but definitely some fun stuff included in here. I'll have to, of course, go through these books a little bit later and actually look at them both. Then we have some of the actual Jurassic World figures, and you can see one of which is the Scorpio Venator. And this figure, again, a lot of this stuff is like brand new. It comes straight in the packaging still, but I've really wanted to get a second of this figure to repaint because I think the sculpt is phenomenal, but Mattel's paint job isn't necessarily the best, and uh, I really feel like it deserves a uh, more realistic coloration to it, so that is 100%. The reason I was drawn to this figure particularly, I was already going to be purchasing one to repaint, so I figured this is obviously the easiest way to get it for a little bit of a cheaper price. And then we have something that I actually did not have. We have some of these little kind of stuffed animals that are out currently. We've got the Triceratops, the Stegosaurus, which I love because it has that kind of like classic Kenner type of coloration to it. And then there's also the T-Rex, I believe this is. Yes, all in here. So these I didn't have, and I really honestly didn't in tend on picking these up because I'm not particularly excited about them like they're cool kind of they're goofy looking but they're not amazing but it's neat that they do have the sounds you can listen to the sounds of each well maybe it's not making the noise there we go So again, some figures that I did not have, and I think they were just a little bit too expensive for what they are as far as what I would like to pay for something like this. So it's a neat way to get these guys without having to pay full price for them because again, I definitely was not going to do that because they're kind of okay, but they're not really that great. Then we've also got ourselves one of these pop-ups. There is the Dilophosaurus in here, which I do already have, but one of which I don't remember which one it was, but one of my pop-ups didn't work very well. I think it might have been the Dilophosaurus or Velociraptor Blue. I forget. I'm going to have to go back and figure it out because if it was the Dilophosaurus, now hopefully I'll have one that will work. And if not, my daughter is absolutely obsessed with the Snap Squads and now obsessed with the pop-ups. So I'd probably just pass this one on to her. There are also some minis in here. So we've got a few of the different and definitely Wave 1 minis in here. And I was definitely excited to get a hold of these guys. 
because they're the minifigures and I love repainting the minis from the Mattel line. So he actually had sent another box, but what was weird was when they had shipped this box out, they realized they had forgot one of the boxes of the minis. So they sent the other box separate and I got that one a few days prior to this box arriving and now I can't figure out where I put that. So I'm going to have to go looking for it. But there are actually four boxes of these all together. So something that I will definitely be repainting at some point are these minis. I'm not too sure which ones are included in here, but this one took a little bit of a beating. Maybe we can sneak a peek. So we've got the Giganotosaurus in here in this one. But uh, definitely, again, love the minis, so more minis is never a bad thing if you ask me, especially when I can repaint them. And speaking of stuff I'd like to repaint, there were also some of the captives eggs included in here. You can see that we've got three eggs. I think there actually might be more in here that I just haven't found quite yet, but... And they're all unopened again, like brand new Jurassic World stuff. That's awesome. So I'll have to open these guys up, see which figures are inside, and get to repainting those at some point as well. I always have so much stuff I want to repaint and never have time to do it, which is really, really sad. Hopefully when winter comes and things calm down as far as my work goes a little bit, I'll have more chances to paint stuff then. And then we've also got ourselves Velociraptor Beta. And I do already have this figure as well. But my daughter, again, loves the Snap Squads and Pop-Ups. But one thing she loves more than that is Velociraptor Blue. For some reason, she is just in love with Velociraptor Blue. She has been since Jurassic World. So the fact that this pretty much looks like Velociraptor Blue and is basically a copy of Velociraptor Blue, as Beta looks exactly like Blue, uh, she would absolutely love to have this. So I'm going to definitely gift this to her. And she's going to be ecstatic because, again, she loves that Velociraptor. Then we've also got this goofy little dinosaur toy thingy. You can see we close the mouth and chomp the mouth. I do not have this thing, but I'm not going to lie. I wasn't particularly looking for it either. But I guess it's still a pretty cool little dinosaur collectible to add to my collection. We've also got ourselves the Extreme Damage Velociraptor, which is another figure that I do have. But I love this figure. Like, it's probably one of my favorite Mattel Velociraptors to come along in a very long time. So this one I'll probably just keep in package and, uh, you know, just throw it up on the shelf somewhere just to keep one in package rather than buying one from the store to keep in package. We've also got another one of these random dinosaur chomper figures. Is This time we have a Triceratops with kind of a cool color scheme with the black and blue. He looks pretty neat, but another figure that, like I stated earlier, I wasn't looking for, but I will take and add to my collection because why not? And then, yes, we have one, two, and three more captives Jurassic World dominion eggs again still pretty neat to have some more of these eggs especially because i want to repaint a ton of these captives figures because the sculpts are phenomenal on them then we also got a set of jurassic world dominion uno which is unfortunate in a way because i had actually just purchased this right before i saw this lot but at the same time it's kind of neat because i'm going to keep one in package and this one i'm probably going to open and play with my kids and my wife and stuff because we love playing uno who doesn't and uh why would you not want to play with dinosaur cards and then the final thing in the box is the click tracker velociraptor i do already have the Atrociraptor or one of the Atrociraptors. Now I've got a Velociraptor as well, which is pretty cool because I didn't have any of these prior and I've been meaning to grab some of them, just haven't yet. So another pretty fun addition to this box. So as a whole, it's not the best lot of dinosaurs in the world, but it was a nice way to get some stuff kind of cheaper as far as these figures go. So hopefully you guys like this unboxing. Let me know down in the comments section which one of the figures was your favorite part of this set. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.